Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy. It's promo and today is January 6th and Samsung just pushed off the latest software update to the Galaxy S22 series. So if you own the Galaxy S22, the S22 Plus or the S22 Ultra, take a look inside of your settings. You'll be able to find this version sitting inside of there. It ends in BVL4. The size is a little over 384 megabytes and it does bring you that January 1st patch. Now this update is bringing you about 70 vulnerability fixes, 50 of those being on the Google side, 20 of those being on on the Samsung side. A lot of them are not critical, but they are high level vulnerabilities. So you do wanna go through, find these updates. You're not gonna really find a lot of the, the usability improvements in terms of newer features or newer things, just because they're saving that stuff for the Samsung One UI 5.1 update, which we'll be able to see that coming up here with the Galaxy S22 launch. And so we'll be learning a little bit more about that in February. So this is mostly about the regular stability, vulnerability, fixes on the Google and Samsung side. Now you do want to make sure that you're updating this one with Wi-Fi. You can't update your Samsung phones on mobile networks anymore. You have a better stable connection through Wi-Fi than you do mobile networks just because you're bouncing from tower to tower in and out of service. If you're connected to a Wi-Fi, more than likely you're sitting there for the duration of this update and download. So now we're just gonna go through, hit download and install. But it's usually at this point in the video, I like to state that if you're brand new here at the channel, Jimmy is promo. And if you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung phones, hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. So in today's video, I will be just taking a look at a few different services and applications from Samsung. I took a look at a few different versions of applications before this update. So just for fun, we'll take a look at Samsung Home, Secure Folder, uh, Camera, as well as Gallery, because a lot of the fixes for this update is going inside of Knox, as well as the secure folder. There's also a few pieces of code that was taken out because it was a patch that was added in, but nothing was really being used. So again, uh, we'll be taking a look at some of those features and services. And the reason why I always take a look at the versions before the update and then after the update is because if there's particular things that you're finding having issues with your Samsung phone, maybe it's the home or maybe the icons, the applications, maybe it's one of the services you find it's crashing or going slow or something may happen with these videos, I'm trying to find these newer updated versions. So this way, if you notice it in this video that it was updated, then you know that possibly that issue could have been fixed on your phone with this update. So here you can see the Google Play system is working hard, doing a bunch of downloads, a bunch of installs. So as I mentioned from before, there is quite a few updates on the Google side of it. This is where it's just kind of showing you, this is where it's getting all of those installs being put in. Uh, and then now uh, soon our phone will be fully updated. I'll be able to tap on this, you know, when everything is all done and complete on the Google side of things. So the Google side of things is done. I'm just gonna tap on this. I like to always see this, take a look at it. It just shows me that it's done and complete. So now we can actually head right inside of the settings. This is where I'm gonna show you how you can find this update and also take a look at your past updates as well. Just go inside of that software update page. You can see the last update was right here, January 6th, 9.49 p.m. It gives you all of the details, things like that. I believe the update before this was uh, quite a few weeks ago, about two or three weeks ago, sometime early uh, December was when when we had the last update. So now let's take a look at a few different applications and services. There's only four of them I wrote down, but you know, the main thing with this update again was all those Google Play things that you saw going through. That was all of the fixes. Most of it was on, uh, in terms of the Samsung side was Knox as well as Secure Folder. One of the things inside of Secure Folder that I read was talking about if you're watching YouTube and you put like a PIP, like picture in picture, you brought it down and then you exited. It didn't really fully close out of the full entire Secure Folder container because you had the picture in picture still open. So that was one of the vulnerabilities that were fixed. So now just take a look inside of Samsung Home. You know, if you ever ran into any issues with the December patch in terms of your home or some of the applications sitting in there, or some of the widgets or some of the animations, hopefully you'll be able to see an update here. So this one before the update, the version was 14.005.19. Uh, so it looks like we have the exact same version. So the Samsung One UI Home was not affected or updated with this, with this update. Secure folder. So we're gonna head over, we're gonna take a look wherever secure folder is. Uh, we're going to take a look at the version here. Uh, originally, this one was 180036. This one also states again 180036. So the version didn't change, but a lot of the vulnerabilities and a lot of the fixes and patches are a part of this one here. So I guess that's pretty good news. Uh, when it comes down to the camera for the information, this version used to be 130017. 130017. So, so far, no changes with any of these applications in terms of newer versions, just the fixes were put inside. 
For gallery, it used to be 14.00037. This one's 14.00037. So we're not going to find any newer versions of applications, just most of the fixes on the Google, like the, or the Samsung Knox, as well as the secure folder side of things on the back end. Again, nothing new, no brand new features coming on this update, just a lot of vulnerability fixes. Everything else that you're going to see is coming up and being, you know, stored and saved for the upcoming Samsung Win UI 5.1, which we'll be able to see with the Galaxy S23 that should be launched sometime in February. So stay tuned for that. I'll definitely be getting the Galaxy S23 Ultra, uh, and then you'll be able to see a bunch of videos for that in the future. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. There is an update now with the January patch for your Galaxy S22 devices. If you guys appreciated the video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.